this is Roger with Wheel Connect to Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this this Highlander, Bill. It is a 2014 Highlander, uh, 3.5 liter, all wheel drive, LE Plus is the trim level. 103,145 actual miles. It was a local trade here in Tucson to the Jim Click Mazda new car dealership. Um, I have no idea what they would trade this for in Mazda that's better than this. I don't care if it's brand new or not. Um, but somebody was crazy. These are great cars and nothing at Mazda is. Anyway, uh, we brought it here. All it needed was a new windshield and a detail. Um, I'm gonna walk around this thing. I'll point out things I see cosmetically uh, that you may wanna look at closer in the photo gallery. It's a good looking car, it's not perfect. Somewhere around one of the door handles on one, of these, one side of this vehicle, it's got a door ding. I don't see it on this side, so it must be the other side. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna walk around it. When I get to the rear of the car, I'm gonna open up the cargo. Um, there, I'll show you the Kelly Blue Book. I'll show you the Carfax. Um, and uh, then we'll proceed. We'll try all the buttons and all the electronic things and the whole bit. We'll go under the hood with the car running. Tires are very high rubber on the front. Where did I see that ding? Maybe I'm freaking seeing things. Maybe, oh, there it is. Right there, door ding right there. I mean, when that's the one that sticks out and then I can't find it, then I tell you what we're dealing with here. This car had some uh, really bizarre, like hard vinyl seat covers, maroon seat covers. I imagine they must have had a dog or something. There was no dog here in it. So I'm not really sure other than protecting the seats so that you can have a nice car with nice seats. I don't really understand the point of it, but anyway, uh, yeah, the, I don't think you need tires for quite some time. It looks like you have at least 10,000, maybe a little bit more of uh, seat wear left. Get out the key here. Here is the key. All right. All right. It does have, uh, there's your VIN here, by the way. And it does have a uh, third seat, all right? There's that. I believe, there you go. Yeah, if you wanna pull it back, you can do this. And then, let's see, I forget how you put it up. Oh, you pull it up, pull up on the top, and then you go like that. So if you want it to go back, you do this. If you want it to go front, you pull up, and you go like that, okay? All right. Here is the uh, Kelly Blue Book, 103,145. Typical listing price would be 18,925, almost 19,000. All-wheel drive, 3.5 liter. This is the Carfax. History of events affecting this vehicle's value. Um, they blend the Kelly Blue Book and the Carfax. They come up with a value of 17 grand, which seems really low to me, <laughs> based on what this car is. But. I don't make the information, I just report it. History of events, 17,080, 080, so 17,000. There's your VIN, no accidents reported, no major title problems, okay? Uh, more good news, it was born in Tucson about a half a mile east of here, a Precision Toyota is who sold it. And they serviced it. And then really good news, at 70,000 miles, they gave it a certified used car status, which is a lot of miles for certified. So it was really nice when they sold it. And they sold it. And it stayed in Tucson. Okay. There you go. So that's that. Let me hit this button here. Okay. Put my paperwork down. I don't really see anything going on back here. This is a pretty car. God, what, who, what kind of knucklehead? I mean, I don't know. Maybe they had something on their used car property that was nicer than this, but it certainly wasn't a brand new Mazda. <laughs> That's for sure. See a little tiny door ding right there. Other than that, we are uh, looking real good here. All right, let me put the key in the ignition. Welcome back. 103,163 miles, okay. Open the hood. By the way, that's the gas door opener right there. Right here, see? Boom.
All right, it's got a hood prop, so I'm gonna use my hands. It's just one hand, one person operation here. There's your VIN there on the hood. Not much to report here, right? Looks great. All right. Here's your window. Got a manual in here, which is nice. Seats, look at these seats are in great condition. Really good condition. Put the seat back a little bit. Looks kind of dorky forward like that. Window. So you do this, right, to get someone in the back seat. Somebody just showed up with parts and they're like in the middle of my video. That drives me crazy. Um, let's see. How do you, I'm not sure how you make, uh, somehow you make it fold up. Oh, wait. Here you go. Is this it? I don't know. I'm not very smart. Anyway, that's what it does. It all folds up. We all know how that works, except me, apparently. Temperature down. Put on auto. Do a fan up. Temperature up. Works fine. That's that. All right, let's see. Window. A lot of cargo area, even with the seat forward. All right, let's see. Window. 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 Mirrors. Out, in, up, and down. Other side. Out, in, up, and down. Let's see. In here, we have a power plug right here, but just a lot of storage in here. I like this a lot. So there's a hole right here. You put your phone here, and then your, see that? You can get your phone cords through to the USB port here, and another power cord here, power plug here. Locking diff, right? See that? Right there, that's locking diff. I guess you got some sort of a grade control, like a hill assist right here. Yeah, see it flashing right here? That's that. You got a snow button. And it says snow way up here on the top up here. Okay. Then you can take off the traction control. See where it says track off? That's that button. All right, air conditioning. Turn it down on both sides. You can sync it so it'll sync to the driver. AC off, AC on. Turn that down. There's your defrosters in the back. Steering mode. Let's go to auxiliary, AV cable, radio. Their communication stuff. FM, XM. All right, so you get the picture there. All right, let's see. Lights. Boom. Windshield wipers. Okay. Here's your windshield wiper in the back. What else we got? Cruise control. There's cruise control on and off. Let's see, what else we got? Let's see. Put the seatbelt on. It's gonna get bad at me. Seatbelt on. All right, let's see, what else we got? Oh, we have a tilt wheel in here somewhere. There's a tilt wheel under here, okay? There you go. All right, let's go for a ride. Get the seatbelt on tight and reverse let's put it in reverse here there's your backup camera by the way okay all right let's go for a ride all right if you come to tucson to drive this bad boy home you will pay the following you'll pay your state tax rate whatever that is 
plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee, okay? If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price. There'll be no tax, no dock fee, nothing. Um, once we receive your full payment by wire, we'll fill out the title, your name, your company's name and address, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file and mail it to you. We even scan it in the envelope we mail it in. Um, obviously, you're gonna have your uh, Highlander shipped to you. Uh, the title will already be in your mailbox before it shows up uh, on your shipping truck. And then you'll go to Motor Vehicles with the title and uh, get plates. It's very simple. If you need help with shipping, let me know at the beginning of the transaction so we can get it there faster. Um, we can roll the uh, price of the shipping into the price of the vehicle for your loan or just because you want to. Um, we can also just give you phone numbers to call and you can do it yourself or you can just do it yourself. Uh, but obviously people want what they paid for fast and uh, if you need help, let me know, okay? Deposit is $500. Once we have an agreed upon price, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. Please get your deposit in quickly. Last part of every video, I say this every single time on every single car for 14 years. And if I was smart, I'd have a recording. But I'm not that smart, so I don't get to hit that button and play the recording. So, uh, we don't have salesmen. So you're not paying for that when you buy from us. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a lounge with an attendant serving sandwiches, scones, and lattes. They've got that all happily at Precision Toyota, which really is literally a half mile east of where we are right now on this road. All right. And there, they have to pay for all that crap. And the way they pay for it is by charging more money for their cars. Okay. They also have a really pretty location. We have razor wire, night vision cameras, and cops all over the place. They've got fountains in the mall and beautiful pavement. We've got terrible pavement. <laughs> we don't have a lot of rent to pay is what I'm getting at. And they've got huge rent. So they got to charge more for cars for that too. They also know at the auto mall that if they sold you this truck, not this truck, this Highlander, and it broke, you would bring it in and say, fix my vehicle. Because I just paid a fortune for it, which you did. Okay. And so uh, they would fix it with the money that they charged you extra for. Uh, future repairs, anticipated repairs, they'll add about $500 to $700 to every car deal to pay for stuff like a window motor or a door lock or a radio. We're not charging you for that up front, so you're saving that five to $700 because we're not fixing your vehicle. We give you the Carfax, the Kelly, this video, the photo gallery. If there was paint work that we knew about or body work that we knew about, we would tell you there is none on this vehicle, okay? Uh, but if there's bad news, we will tell you. Um, if you watch our other videos, there are some vehicles that have bad news and we say, this is what happened and this is what we know. Um, uh, because you have this kind of information, uh, you can make a really good decision to be the owner on day one. If you need a check to be written for a, oh God, who knows, a window motor or a door lock that doesn't work or whatever, um, then we are definitely not the location for you to shop for cars at because we're not writing you a check for anything at any time, okay? Um, that's the bottom line. Uh, it's your car. We know the history of this vehicle, and it's awesome. But uh, just realize that you're the one who's going to be taking care of this, not us. We're not taking care of your car. Anyway, I wouldn't be worried about that. <laughs> I would be worried about the mental capacity of the person who actually traded this car in to Jim Click Mazda. You have got to be an absolute moron <laughs> to do that. I don't. I can't picture a car they have that would be a better car to have than this. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. This thing gets its own little spot right here. This is going to go to the front line in the morning. It's just time to go home. My daughter's waiting for me. I got to go. But... Uh, yeah, I just did that QX70, which is an awesome car also. And I did this car. They're both unbelievable. I don't understand what new car dealers are doing. This car is amazing. Anyway, thank you for your time.